What's up everybody? Kimberly Olson here coming in for a training on, oh, I was supposed to hold up my little sign. I think this is going to be backwards. So let me, oh no, can you read it? Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Hashtag, there's the other side of my house. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Do you guys want to see my house? That's not my house. I'm in my house right now. Ah! Hi guys. I'm trying to flip this so you can see this magical thing. Hold on. Okay. Do more of what makes you happy. I found this in my uh, closet, or not my closet, my bookshelf, and I was like, oh, this is so true. I actually went through this activity last summer. So I'm gonna share with you guys something you can actually do to get more of what you want in your life, but there's an actual activity you need to do. Okay, I can't see the comments. Hi guys, thanks for hopping on. Go ahead and tell me, I feel like I need to put my sunglasses on. Tell me, I'm outside because it's 70 some degrees and it's freaking beautiful. Um, tell me what you're doing this weekend. Tell me where you're coming in from, city, state, province. Also, put a one in the comments if you're watching this live and put two if you're watching the replay. It's Beth, it's so pretty out. Now, we had a frost here. That's what's crazy about Texas. It'll be like 90 and then it'll be 40. It's weird. So this beautiful plant, it's an oleander. Is that how you say it? It's poisonous, by the way. It keeps the deer away but it was so beautiful. I mean, it was just gorgeous and the frost got it, but Scott's like, it's fine, it'll come back to life. So I just wanted to be outside and just appreciate living here because I'm from Michigan and you know, in April it can be a little, little sketchy. So we're gonna talk about an activity I did last summer. I literally did this a year ago. Okay, one year ago today, I did this activity and it changed my life, okay? A year ago today, I, oh, share this video too. Share this, why not? Sharing is caring. Put new in the comments if you've never seen my video. I'm known as the Gold Digger Girl, but also Fit Cam. I have like double personalities going on. So a year ago, I was sitting at my desk, and you guys know Jen Sincero. Sincero. How do you say her last name? Since I always say it wrong. So everybody loves her books. You are a, a bad ass. And so I was talking to my friend, and she's like, "Look, she sends me a screenshot of a, of a picture of Jen's book, a page of it, and she goes, this I feel like I had to send this to you." So I'm reading it and it literally said, do more of what brings you joy and do less of what doesn't. And I was like, that is so dumb. Meaning so simple, right? Like, of course, duh. But she goes, I challenge you to write down a list of what those things are. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, I want you to write a list of what brings you joy. And I was like, okay. So this is your activity. This is your, your take home action step, okay? If you guys literally are just sitting here thinking, you know, it's like you look around you're like I have a great family I have a house I love my life whatever maybe you don't but you're just like not happy or fulfilled and so I was there I was working 50 hours a week and commuting two and a half hours a day every day Monday through Friday I worked events in the evenings all the time so I would there would be days when I didn't see my kids you guys like whole days of their lives and you know how like when they're little they change like every day you're like how'd you learn that word there were weekends I would have to work on Saturdays. If I didn't, there was a guilt trip about it at work. I mean, it was ridiculous. And I was building my brand and building my network marketing business. And so I literally, I'm not kidding you, a year ago, I got out my journal and I wrote down all the things I enjoyed doing. Okay, so I was like, well, I love working from home. Um, I wasn't doing that, but I loved little little parts of that. You know, I was working nights and weekend at home. I loved being at my desk. I loved um, mornings where I could sleep in and wouldn't have an alarm clock. And I would read on the back porch, drink some coffee, sit there, I'll just journal, whatever, do, do a meditation. I loved um, exercising, but not like a crazy person. You know, just feeling good about exercise. I loved putting good food in my body. I loved um, creating things. I love creating content. I love doing Facebook Live videos. I love them. Love you guys because I can connect with you. I loved leading a team. Like that was, there was stars. I loved leading a team. I loved bringing in the money. I really, I was like, I love making money. I love that I'm like, hey, I'm contributing to our family. Hey, we can buy this thing. Hey, we're debt free. Okay, I love all that. I wrote all that down. And I just wrote this long list. It was like a whole page. And I said to myself, you know what I'm gonna do? One by one, I'm gonna do all those things. Like I'm seriously gonna chip away at it. So I just picked the biggest thing and the biggest thing for me was I needed to be home more and I was working full time. So I walked in my, my boss's office and I said, can I talk to you for a second? And she's like, sure, she was in a good mood, you know? So I said, I know this seems kind of weird and I know this position isn't really set up for this. I said, but you know my schedule. And I go, Scott just started a new job. I'm, 
I got to do dinners now and I wasn't doing that before. The girls are they're at daycare like 50 some hours a week. I said, I really want to, I just want to attend to go part time. Like I feel like I can still do all the things and she was like, actually that would help our bottom line. So let's do it. And I was like, what? So I went part time in May and then I got a little taste of that. Two months later I put my notice in and I, I quit. I walked away from corporate America forever. Um, and now I'm a full-time entrepreneur, but I did, I literally chipped away at that list, you guys. One, look at these Rana Madrid earrings though, by the way, aren't they so cute? They're navy with like little specks of gold. Rana Madrid, you rock. And that's what I did. I, I seriously started coaching people because that was on my list. I wanted to coach clients. People started reaching out to me. I don't advertise my coaching and uh, people were, were messaging me. Hey, will you coach me? Will you coach me? And I was like, actually, I can take you on. Now I have the time, right? And all the things have happened. Every single thing on that list has happened. All of it. It's pretty freaking crazy. And it was a long list, okay? But I tell you what, if I wouldn't have got clear on, do more of what makes you happy, you guys. Like, we sit here and talk about it. I was just talking to somebody, actually a coaching client, and she's just like, yeah. She's like, it's my lifestyle, man. Like, I'm not, I'm not taking care of myself. And I'm like, well, let's, let's figure that out. Do we need to schedule you? Do you need a personal trainer and you need to schedule a session with, with at the gym? Will that make you work out? Do we need to get some meals prepped, uh, prepared for you that are healthy? Like, spend the money, you guys. Take the time. Get the discipline, okay? Get so crystal clear on what you want, you can taste it, okay? And when you start to do the things that make you happy, guess what happens? It, it's an overflow. It trickles to every area of your life. When you start eating good things like I literally crave green juice that's weird that's just freaking weird most people crave like I don't know coca-colas or skittles I want green juice because I have taken the time to put good stuff in my body right and you guys know I supplement that helps obviously with you know my appetite and cravings and stuff but for real like most of the time I eat pretty good when I start exercising more guess what I have more energy I feel good about my family I feel good about my you know myself in my clothes and I'm not embarrassed to put a bathing suit on like that affects my self-esteem like it literally is all connected do you guys think I'm a better mom and a better wife because I'm chipping away at my joy list let's call it a joy list it's not a bucket list because I feel like bucket lists are far away what brings you joy and right now you might be in a situation like me where I was working full-time and you're just like I can't Kimberly I can't quit my job and go work from home okay could you go take music lessons? Seriously, could you go start taking piano lessons if it's something that you know would bring you joy? Could you go join a knit, knitting club if you like to knit? Could you go go find a tribe of girls that do bar? It's a, it's a type of fitness. Go find some friends, not at the bar. Meet you at the bar, but B-A-R-R-E. -R -R -E. Could you go join a class and, and start doing that a couple of times a week while you're around other women? You guys, there's so many things that you can be involved in that bring you joy. And what you do is you just get really clear on that list and you seriously chip away one at a time. And everything that I put on my list, that's why I had to get a vision wall. Some of you saw my stories this morning. I don't know what I was doing. It went away. I don't know how to fix it. But I have a vision wall and I'm working on filling that baby up. And I've got all kinds of things. A lot of you are on my vision wall. And I really want to impact all of you. I want to help all of you have the success that you want, but you've got to get crystal clear on it and you've got to fight for it because it's not your husband's responsibility. It's not your boss's responsibility. It's not your upline's responsibility. Honestly, it's not even your team's responsibility or your, your customers. It's yours. Okay. You are a co-creator of your life. And when you take ownership of that, honestly, everything becomes really magical. Like when I think about my future, I'm excited. Okay. I have things I fear just like, you know, the girls things with them. I'm normal. I'm a human, but overall you guys, I have joyful expectation. I truly do. And I believe it all started with that exercise of saying, you know what, what does bring me joy? What do, what do I want my life to look like? What do I want to have more of? And when I did that, it was like sending a message to the universe. Like, Hey, let's pay attention to her, right? She's feeling good. She's clear on what she wants. We can deliver that. And one by one, those things manifested into my life. So try it. I'd love to hear what, when you guys make your joy list, which is really cool. So on this beautiful day, I'll wrap up with a brand new workshop. I announced it to my inner circle yesterday. If you didn't know, I'm doing an influencer workshop April 24th. It's a Wednesday evening, but if you can't catch it live, you can catch the replay. And uh, someone just messaged me, I hope I'm on your vision wall. You are actually, how funny is that? 
I love it. But if you want to do the influencer workshop, just put influencer in the comments and we'll tag you on it. I'm, I don't have a many chat set up, so we'll just tag you on it. But I'm going to show you how I have 12, 12, I've hit 12 streams of income. Okay, so I'm going to tell you how I did that, but we're going to go through each one. So I'm going to show you real quick. It's normally my workshops are 75 to 90 minutes. It's probably going to be pushed in 90 minutes to two hours. We'll see. Maybe I'll just do it, break it up and do a bonus video at the end or something. But I'm going to show you the podcast. I'm going to show you like all the things of, of how I've done that. The really cool thing is you don't have to have a big following to become an influencer and start monetizing, okay? You already, most of you are in direct sales. I know some of you've got a couple things going on. Some of you do real estate, some of you have Etsy shops, you've got multiple things. I think that's good, okay? I don't think you should be the jack of all trades and have your hands in 50,000 things. And the key, pay attention to this, the key is you add one thing at a time. Because some of you are like trying to do 50,000 things and it's not working, okay? Um, are going to want to one by one build that up and I'm going to teach you how to do that so just put influencer workshop in the comments and I'll tag you on that it's gonna be awesome it's the first time I've ever done this content we'll talk about you know becoming an influencer um, and then also uh, I have a Pinterest workshop next week if you haven't grabbed it yet it's the last time I'm gonna do it but the algorithm changed January 1st so some of the stuff I taught you before we've got to shift it but basically I'm gonna show you how to prospect on Pinterest so how do you get leads on Pinterest and it's awesome because no one's doing it in my opinion right way so you can really stand out and can be an awesome place to get some leads and it's creative if you're visual or you're just kind of artsy or just like bo building boards out in Pinterest and stuff just put Pinterest workshop in the comments and I'll get you that now this is brand new the first 10 people that register actually we might be at 10 okay I'm gonna go to 20 the first 20 people and then I'm cutting it off the first 20 people who register for my social media boot camp are going to get a gold digger goodie bag okay in the gold digger goodie bag is going to be all digital stuff so you're going to get a digital copy of both my books you're going to get a digital copy of the gold digger girl no it's called the gold digger i always say that wrong okay the gold digger that book number one number one best-selling book on amazon in three different categories uh, you'll get a digital copy of The Gold Digger. You're going to get a digital copy of my book, The Fit Kim Lifestyle. If you guys don't know, I'm a nutritionist and personal trainer. You're also going to get Lindsay Sewell's The Facebook Formula Profit, The Facebook Live Profit Formula. This girl is next level. Go watch her. She's freaking killing it. Go watch her Facebook Lives. But how do you monetize them? How do you get leads from your Facebook Lives? I swear on my life, today I did a Zoom with somebody. True story. This girl saw my video this week, messaged me uh, last night. She messaged me, it went in my filter, so I didn't catch it. She messages my top girl on my team and says, hey, I saw your live, I like what I see, I wanna know more about what you're doing. She messaged me this morning, cause she's looking right now, and we freaking did a Zoom together. Because she saw our Facebook Lives, you guys, this week. That's the power of Facebook Lives, and this girl's an influencer. This girl is freaking money. I'm, we're gonna, she's on my vision board. I told her, I took a screenshot of her Zoom. I'm like, you're joining our team. That girl's gonna join our team. She's gonna go to the top of the company, mark my words. If you know who you are, if you're on the Zoom today. And you know what? She saw our Facebook Lives. There's proof in the pudding, I'm telling you. If you're not doing Facebook Lives and you're complaining that your business isn't where you wanna be, it's on you. So Lindsay's gonna teach you how to crush it with your Facebook Lives, isn't that awesome? So the first 20 to register for the social media boot camp will get a gold digger goodie uh, digital gold digger goodie bag I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff in there that's not all that will be in there I'll put all kinds of freebies in there for you guys okay and then um, there's payment plans down to weekly because I'm like I don't want to hear anybody's excuses if I hear one person say they can't afford it we're gonna have to talk I'm gonna be like okay we'll go sell something or go work at, you know go get a job at Instacart for a weekend like you got to figure it out how bad do you want it so if you don't have the success you want in social media go do my social media boot camp this is the last live one I'm doing I've done it multiple times I'm creating it, I'm turning it into a course and then selling it after that on the back end, meaning it won't be live ever again. So the, the benefits are, are of live are I coach you every week in a small group. So there's eight modules. We cover Instagram, personal branding, Facebook groups, scripts, prospecting, onboarding, duplication. We cover leadership. We cover attraction marketing, marketing content, Facebook lives, all the things. How did I go from 250 followers to 100,000 followers on social media? I'm gonna teach you all of that. So if you're like, ah, oh, I wish I knew everything that you did, oh, I'm gonna show you. So just put boot camp in the comments. It's the social media, rock your business on social media boot camp. We'll be able to get you guys in there. It starts May 15th, which is perfect because school will be getting out, but it ends like, all, everything's recorded by the way. So if you're like, I'm on vacation, I told you, I don't wanna hear one excuse. If there's an excuse that comes out of your mouth, 
I'm gonna send you some soap in the mail, okay? I'm watching you. So the cool thing about this, I've noticed the girls who did this last summer, they rocked it because everybody else was uh, checked out because it's summer, right? And they didn't. They freaking crushed it. It was amazing. Um, and Lindsay is actually was one of my original boot campers and look at what her brand has done. So she's on the video you can watch, or she's on this, uh, the page where you can find out more about it, uh, Lindsay's video. So hear what she said about the boot camp firsthand. Uh, but it's the last one I'm gonna do live. So this is your chance. So just put boot camp in the comments. We'll get you registered and you'll get the Gold Digger goodies if you're one of the first 20. I think we're pushing 10 already. Oh, and tomorrow night, if you're in the 10X challenge with Rob Sperry, you guys, I've been in a lot of challenges. I've never seen anything like this. There were over 125 people live last night on the challenge video. And every every challenger is giving an action step that you complete in the 24 hours. It's pretty awesome. People are getting results really fast. People on my team have been messaging me. So I'm tomorrow night. It's 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern, Saturday night, depending on if you're in Australia or where you're at, in the U.S. Um, or Canada, I guess. So I'm on Instagram as my topic. So I'm going to do Insta success with Instagram. I'll give you guys a really good uh, Insta Instagram challenge with that. So I'll be tomorrow night. So please come hop on. Uh, I'd love to have you guys on there for that training because I'm really pumped about it. I'm working on it, on the content for that. I'm excited, but it's it's going really well. So if you're in the 10X challenge that Rob Sperry is doing, go in there and catch up because the first two challenges already happened this week. There's another one tonight and then I'm on for tomorrow night. So I hope you guys are doing awesome. Enjoy your weather, no matter if it's good, bad, cold, hot, whatever. Just be thankful for this beautiful day. And uh, I'm so glad you guys could join me live. Hi, Greg. And uh, that's my father-in-law. I'm sitting on the front porch, Greg, because it's 70-something. And I mean, why wouldn't you do that, right? All right, guys, have a great rest of the day. I'll see you later. Bye.